Welcome back, Stars Artists. In your packet this week, you'll find some fabric, thread, a needle. You should have Sharpies and scissors at home. So we're gonna make a Valentine heart plushie ornament. You'll need to start out by drawing your heart with a marker or Sharpie. And then I'm cutting out kind of close to the line, not right on the line. And trimming that so that it's straight. Um, then I flip my fabric so that that Sharpie doesn't show up. So when you get your thread out, which took me more time than it should, it should be as long as one arm. So when you pull your thread out, keep this spool close to your chin and pull the thread out with your arm. And that's how long your thread should be. About the length of one arm. So once you get that, run it through the eye of your needle and then you're going to make a knot so take the two pairs make a loop and stick it through i make two knots sometimes with this felt it pulls through so you don't have to pull so hard though um, once you begin stitching it should stay in place this happened a lot this knotting and that comes from pulling too quickly don't panic just Take the knot and gently tug it until it comes loose. So I'm doing what's called a back stitch. You can slow the video down or YouTube um, different types of stitching that might work best for you. I like this stitch because the front of it looks really good. It almost kind of looks like a drawing when you finish. You have an option here to like flip it at the very end like I just showed you <clears throat> so that your seams won't show I kind of like for my stitch to show though so I'm continuing with the back stitch and really you can sew your heart any way that you want whatever is easiest for you I am doing shorter stitches not really really long stitches because I don't want any of um, the fluff stuff to come out of the sides. If you run out of thread just make a knot and do the exact same thing. So re-thread your needle, stick it through the eye, make a knot at the end. Again don't pull too hard when you pull it through like I did there. And then you can just continue stitching and it'll stay in place. There's those knots again. So again, don't panic, just kind of play with it, tug gently um, and pull on the knot until that comes loose, if that happens to you. Also, be careful with the needles. Obviously, it's sharp. It could poke you. Just be mindful where your fingers are at at all times. This is definitely a speed-up version of the video, so you're going to go much slower and be careful as you sew. Okay, so I've left a little bit of space here. Stuff your stuffing in. You can adjust that with a Sharpie or pencil, kind of moving that fluff around. Then take your needle and sew your heart up. You can cut that, make a knot. The very last step we're gonna do is kind of trim up the edges if needed. Um, Re-thread your needle. And you're going to sew your ribbon on. Your ribbon and fluff should also be with your kit. I 
I sewed um, my ribbon together before sewing it to my heart. That made life a little easier. There's really no right way to sew that on there. Just clean up your edges. And there it is. Hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time.